Crank High Voltage Movie Review. Chev is back pretty much from right where the first one ended. And then we skip ahead three months, I think, and it keeps going at about the same thing the first did. Only it, of course, tries to ramp it up further. I'm not sure a sequel was really needed to the first, and it's the same thing it usually is. It's the same problem. The first one was fresh, and we didn't know what was going to happen. Then the second one comes around, and it's just kind of... The structure is far too similar, and they again try to do the same things. Don't get me wrong, there are some interesting things, there are some very memorable things in this movie, and it does manage to be quite offensive, objectifying of women, and at times quite intense. But it also does get to be a bit too repetitive, and, you know, you can kind of see what's coming. The dialogue is okay. A lot of the stuff, both action and the offensive stuff, feels quite forced. It just, it does not come naturally, and in the first, it felt pretty natural. You know, it felt like, okay, well, what would you do if you wake up, you know, and have an hour to live? And, yeah, in this one, they try too hard, I would say. And though it does lead to some definitely cool moments, in the long run, most of them tend to just fall flat or be excessively silly. But all in all, if you gotta have a sequel, and you, you, know, you want more of the same from the first, then this one is okay.